was the last time that woman went home, slept in a bed? Well, my worry is the more tired Ruth gets, the harder it will be for her to make any decision. Well, we need to help her make a decision. We've waited two weeks. Caloric reflex tests are inconclusive. It's unlikely she'll recover any meaningful function. You've explained the results clearly to the parents. Yeah, everything. Several times. But Ruth's in no state to listen. Would it help if I tried? Honestly, I, I don't know. But whatever we do, it has to be gentle and for Holly's sake, quick. Obviously, they want to keep her alive as long as possible. Well, my opinion, that's not what's best for Holly. Maybe with all the brain damage, she's not in any pain, but... She's not at peace. They still think that she's coming back, and she isn't. And I wish there was hope, but there isn't. The Swedish parents, this hospital believes it's time to turn off their teenager's life support. It's about as contentious as a hospital manager's job can get, I have no doubt. I can smell the fear wafting out of the boardroom. Parents, families, they will always be our priority. But another priority is Holy Hospital Trust. So we need to help them understand that it's time to let go. Almost there. Don't worry about your end. Don't wait for me. I'll leave you behind. I never troubled you before. For this to work, we need to be in sync. For this to work, you need to finish what we started. Ready? And done. Well done. Both of you. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Finish up. When you're done, my office. You got it. One, two, three, breathe. 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 That it's not capable of controlling her respiratory function. And without that ventilator, she can't breathe. Her heart's beating. She's digesting because some of the brain stem is still working. An old part of her brain. But the thinking parts, the parts that make her conscious, they're not communicating with each other anymore. So what are you saying? She won't ever become conscious again. It's physically impossible. Her brain's just too damaged. She looks so perfect. So normal. Maybe she's about to wake up any minute. The damage is hidden, Ruth, right inside her brain. And it's so severe that she might not ever make a recovery. But nobody knows that, surely? Yes, we do, Ruth. And I'm sorry. The experience of so many similar cases, and without the ability of consciousness, who Holly was, it's gone. Holly is. Holly is. She's alive. She is breathing in front of you, and you dare say was. You don't know her. You never knew her. You don't deserve to.
He's not okay. breathing. No heart rate. Don't be strong. It's been what? six minutes now and no response. Pete's not going to make it in time, but with two emergency C-sections on maternity. Okay. Let's just take a moment here. I see just a tiny moment to connect. Be strong. To think about what we're doing. To feel like this little guy is gone. I can't just... Shh, shh, it's okay. It's okay. I see just a tiny, tiny moment. Let's find him. I know what it sounds like. Mm, are you fine, girling? No, it was just the way she took control. She wasn't bossy or shouty. She was calm, just so calm. It was beautiful. Honestly, she was so impressive. See ya. Me again. I know you're probably busy investigating the bottom of a vodka bottle in some dodgy Kiev bar, but at some point you need to check in, let the hospital know that you're alive, that Gary's okay, call me, someone, <sighs> whatever. Gary? Yeah, Elliot's dog, it's a long story. Uh, sit. So, what happened? I sprayed the Teflon felt with bonding glue to prevent leaking. What happened in America? I learned a lot, worked with some brilliant people. Zosha, what happened? It didn't work out. What can I say? It was harder than I thought. You gave up. I reevaluated my goals. Let me get this straight. 14 months after walking out of this hospital and your suicidal father, your brain-damaged husband, to follow your dream job, you decide it's all too hard and jack it in. That's pretty much it, yeah. And why come back? All the happy memories. I need a job. Locoming pays well. I need a permanent job. Stability, security. Well, I can write you a reference. I hear St. Bart's are looking. Or oh, you could give me a job. I understand there's a senior registrar position vacant. You understand? Understand from whom? Hanson. So, I've reviewed all the test data. Then you concur. Sadly, I do. But, of course, we're not going to get the best result for Holly until we can persuade her parents. Then we keep trying. You say you've talked to Ruth, but she doesn't listen to what you're saying. Yes, she can. You know, she can't hear. She's too overloaded with emotion, information. Oh, I'm sorry, Emily. I was held up by an unexpected birth on Keller. Oh, all good, I hope. Yeah, amazing, actually. Your Chloe delivered. Oh, great. Okay. I wish I could claim to have taught her all she knows. Um, so... So I asked Nurse DeLuca if she might help us try to get through to Ruth. Well, why would you do that? You said you'd spoken to them several times without success, so I thought that a new angle of approach might make a difference. She's my patient. We have a history. And you took your daughter off Holly's care team because you felt that she was too emotionally involved. <laughs> so you think that I'm in too deep, or you don't think I'm up to the job? Why? Nurse DeLuca trained as a transplant coordinator, so she's well first. Of course. Yeah, I do have experience of dealing with similar situations, so I might be able to help. Do you have a choice? I'll be right back.
My own parents on the floor are bad. Understood. Good. And the other thing. At home, you, you don't get to treat me like your mum? Or a chambermaid? Or a nurse? Chambermaid sounds kind of kinky. <laughs> All right, well, you know, up your game and we'll talk. Up my game? Well, you know, stop behaving like a messy teenage boy. So my game isn't up to your game? What? Like, what, I'm an eight and you're a ten? Oh, you think I'm a ten? That is so sweet. <laughs> no, that's not what... Thank you.